Katie, I feel like lately you've been a sell the rally kind of mode. Are, are you impressed, though, by what we got in July? And do you think it's something sustainable? Yeah, I'm definitely impressed and, and certainly surprised by the magnitude of the move, especially in the last week or so of July with Apple's earnings showing a breakout there above its 200-day moving average. So what that tells us is that we have some minor breakouts, and those breakouts could contribute to a more extended relief rally. But I don't think it's going to be the stuff of what we saw in July. I think it'll be a bit more muted for the S&P 500, it had some minor resistance around 4075, and it did manage to get through that. So it puts the next resistance of roughly 4270. From here, that's about 4% upside. I think it would be really difficult to capture on the long side. Some people that are more short-term in their orientation might be able to do that. But with these relief rallies in bear market cycles, they're super difficult to take advantage of. You really have to be there on the right day. So you still think we're in a, a bear market and are you, what about the low in, in June? Do you think that is the low or you expect to see lower lows? I think that is a low, um, an intermediate term low, but not a long term low. And I say that because we have improved intermediate term momentum, but just very much like past bear market cycles, that does tend to happen usually more than twice even during that bear market that you see these kinds of relief rallies that have a favorable impact on the intermediate term momentum gauges, but it's temporary, lasting weeks, not months. We saw it in 2008, we saw it in 2000. And some of these relief rallies can be pretty impressive as we've already seen, but they often give way to lower lows. And we do think that this will be the case this time around as well. For the S&P 500 support is still around 38.15. It's been a level we've been watching for some time, and we have about 5% room to that level. So here we have a, a risk reward that's about a one for one ratio, and that, that test isn't that compelling. So as far as my final question is, as far as drivers, Katie, we've, we've seen lately We've been driven on stocks by treasuries, by oil prices, by the dollar. The, the stock market seems to like weaker dollar at the moment, lower oil prices, and lower treasury yields. All three are going the other way today. Which, which do you think has the strongest pull right now? I think it's more about treasury yields right now than anything else. And they do look poised for an oversold bounce, in my opinion. And if anything, that would probably affect the high growth technology stocks the most that had seen a bit of an improvement in market sentiment as yields had pulled back. So perhaps they'll be under pressure, at least in relative terms here in the very near term. And we're talking a couple weeks, not a couple of months. Um, so that might have some impact. But our bias on Treasury yields is actually neutral beyond the next couple of weeks in terms of an oversold bounce. So we think that influence will start to dissipate here pretty soon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.